Hi, Blockonomist. Uh, my name is Jaden, and I just want to make this video especially for you guys. Um, since you guys are looking for a SEO consultant for your website, and so here I am. So I hope you like what you see, and I'm going to jump straight in to helping you understand what could be the problem in terms of um, things that are affecting your website's uh, organic performance. So first off, let's go into the direct problem first. So it seems like your website is not being indexed by search engines and you need some ideas on why it doesn't uh, and what we might need to do to make it work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first of all, try to make this video as short uh, as possible because I don't want to make the video too long. And within this video, I'm, I'll try to make it within 10 minutes and see what I can find within 10 minutes to see really what is the main issue that's causing this problem. So first of all, I, re I want to see, is the site being indexed? Okay, so it seems like it's being indexed. Uh, it's being indexed fine. So I think the first question I will have for you guys is where are you seeing this from? When you say that your website is not being indexed by any search engines, are you talking about specific blog post? when you're posting and it's not getting indexed or which specific URLs that you see that are not being indexed. Because from the looks of it, it seems like there is, you know, almost 300 plus, uh, almost 400 pages being indexed. So unless you're talking about specific uh, page, um, then we will need to go in and take a further look at it. So with that being said, um, I'm going to try and see if there's any issues with um, the site. Not issues, more so of opportunities for organic growth. So the one thing that I always want to look at is where is your current performance? Okay, and the first thing I usually do is to collect as much information as I can because not all strategies, not all SEO strategies works for all types of website. Certain websites requires focus on specific um, things, whereas uh, as compared to other different sites, that's first. And secondly, the type of niche you're in will also require a certain number of, uh, the strategy that you require will also be different. So I'm trying to collect as much information as I can because the more information I have, the better, the better advice I can give in terms of increasing your website's organic performance. So what I'm looking at here is how long or how old is your site. So it seems like your site is um, started out in 2021, but I'm seeing some, some signals here. So I'm going to try and see if I can see, I can tell whether, let's see. So 2020, so not not too long ago. So it's almost a year old, right? So, okay. The next thing I want to look at is in terms of the current organic traffic you guys are getting. So your traffic, your website is not getting any traffic, but the DR is already at a 51. So this is kind of interesting. This is really interesting because if a website has a high DR, 51, you would be getting some sort of organic traffic unless you are blocking unless you are blocking Ahrefs robot, which I don't think you are. Okay. Let me check out your site map. Yeah, I don't think you guys are blocking. Okay, you have this host, so this is kind of, uh, this is fine. Yeah, it doesn't seem like you guys are blocking Ahrefs, but it's showing that you guys are not receiving any organic traffic. So let me see just to make sure it could be the software. Hmm. So it's not getting any traffic. So this is interesting. This is very interesting. And this is what I like to do. 
I like to find things that are interesting and solve them. So the website is not getting any traffic and the DR is at 51. You, you guys have 97, not 97. You guys have 100 plus backlinks. So now I want to see what kind of backlinks you guys are building. Because something is unusual here. Because usually for a DR site, um, there is 51. There should be some form of organic traffic. But in this case, it's not. So I want to see what it's buffing your... Your... Okay, I'm noticing a theme here. I'm noticing a big theme here, which is not ideal. Okay, uh, you guys are doing some form of link building, right? And I can see from the number of links that you guys are having first and the type of anchor text you guys are having. So you can see this is cryptocurrency news. So obviously this is the keyword that you guys are trying to rank for. Same with blockchain news, crypto news. So these are exact anchor tags that you guys want to rank for, right? And with this amount of pages I'm seeing, this is not good because this is not natural. And um, I'm not sure if these links are built on purpose. Okay, I'm gonna to go to one example. Let's say crypto news. Oh my God, uh, what is this? So the links, it's part of my language, but it's absolute trash. Uh, let's see, well, there are no users. It's kind of weird. Okay, I don't wanna, I don't wanna go um, too deep because I want to give a over, overall view of the site. But there's something wrong with the links. Uh, and then if I go to just basically your anchor text, Bitcoin news, it's almost 27%. This is very unnatural. This is unnatural. This is unnatural, unnatural, unnatural. These three anchor texts are very unnatural. Okay, and you can see the it's it's 27%, 20%. So the link building portion, you guys might need to revisit this again because it's not natural. Um, certainly, when Google looks at it, they also will be able to identify that this is not a natural site, a natural backlink profile. So that's first. Now, let me go and take a look at kind of organic traffic. So one of the things that you guys might not be showing up on Google could be because of the age of the domain, because you guys are in a sensitive niche since it's something to do with since it's something to do with um, finance. So you guys are in the YMYL niche, uh, which means your money or your life. Anything to do with your money or your life is considered a sensitive niche. And with sensitive niche, sometimes it takes a bit longer, especially for a new site in a sensitive niche, sometimes it takes a bit longer for you to see um, results. So this could be one issue. The second issue could be because of how you guys are building links. It's, it's really not um, natural in a way. So based off on the anchor, anchor text and the earlier examples I've shown you guys. Now let's see in terms of technicality, are you guys missing on something? So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for, you are, uh, I'm looking for patterns, okay? And already I can tell some form of um, pattern here. You can see the bottom left hand side, you will be able to tell the URL of a page. Now the URL of a, the URL of a page will generally show you the technicality aspect of a website. And if a URL is long, that's not the best way to structure a, 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 a page. So you can see this is a very long URL. There is a forward slash article forward slash the title name and then forward slash is a 433 there, 434, right? So 
So first of all, the URL, it's way too long. Uh, you can do, if you can, do without the article. And then do without this 4323. And then you want to map a keyword to this piece of content, which I don't think um, there is any keyword research being done. Because if it's being done, then um, you want to insert that keyword within the piece of URL and you want to keep it as short as much as possible. And generally with content like this, um, you for keywords like this, most of the time it's not going to be, people will not be searching for L bones and the monsters of the metaverse are more than 2000, you know, and things like that. They could be searching for L bones, the monster, for example. But again, that you have to confirm it with keyword research. So that is the URL structure that I'm noticing. Um, it's a thing that you can look at. Second one, the title. It's not optimized. Description is not... Uh, description, it's not optimized as well. This should be less than 155 characters. Even though the concept of the, this, the description is there. You have a kind of like a curiosity um, hook. Um, and then uh, you have a kind of call to action here, but overall it's too long. So in terms of copy, I will trim this down to less than 155 characters. And then over here, this is 101 characters. You want to trim this down to 60 characters. And the reason why is because then it will not look truncated. Okay, let's see your H. What? So you have two header ones. Ideally, you only want to have one, have one header one on a piece of content because a header one is kind of like a title of a page and a page can only have one title. And then a rest, the rest are kind of like subtitles, which means your H2, H3, H4, and H5, right? But every page only should have one H1, which is uh, the title. So in this case, you have two H1s. And then let me see. So this is self-canonical, which is fine. Now, in terms of technicality, I'm going to... Okay, so I'm going to try to keep this be below 15 minutes. Okay, let me see if... Okay, this is 308 redirected. Okay. As long as being redirected is fine. How about... Do you have another version here? Okay, you don't, which is fine. 301 redirected. This is also redirected, 307 redirected. Okay, so seems like your redirection is fine. And then uh, the, the design of the site is legit, it's good. So it's probably the, the earlier stuff that I mentioned about. Now I'm gonna not make this video too long, I'm just gonna end it here, but hopefully this will be able to help you out um, and you know, if you have any questions, please feel free um, to let me know. I'm happy to answer them. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Cheers.